Hi, it's Russ from Pro Tools Expert, and we've had a few emails about the track Wake Me Up and whether we, whether it's possible to do that using the stuff that comes free with Pro Tools. And so uh, I've had a look at it. Obviously, remember when the track was created, they probably used a completely different door, different synths, uh, hardware, and all sorts of stuff. So what we're doing is we're looking at this using just the free stuff, so we're using Expand and Boom and stuff like that. So I've had a look at it, and it's made up of several things, and one of them is there's the guitar part that's going on uh, in the uh, the middle of the track. And uh, let's let's take a look at that, uh, and then we'll look at the sort of main synth part uh, further. I'm just going to just mute a few bits of, of uh, MIDI straight away. So there's a guitar part, and if we just come and have a listen to it for a second. <laughs> And basically, there's a few sounds that, that, that are pretty close. Uh, one that, 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 that is the closest one, actually, in the guitars, actually, if we go through them, is that there's a, there's a Stratocaster with a wah in it. <laughs> Trouble is, it's not, it's not wah on the, uh, the track. So, there's, there's, so what you've got to do is try and get the sound to stay and the same kind of sound without it wah as much. There's kind of country and western type kind of guitar that they're using on that track. And the other thing, of course, is it's then smothered in reverb, so it's way back in the track. So it's... So we're bringing the effects up here. What you really want is a guitar player to play it for you uh, with a kind of country and western sound. So if you don't want the wah type sound, then you can come to something like the... Uh, some of the things like the jazz. Now, the other thing as well is I've got the kick drum of Boom uh, driving uh, a compressor on the whole track, and we'll look at how we're doing that in a minute. Which is actually more apparent when we add in the second synth, because when we get to the main uh, part further on in the track, when the synth comes in, uh, this synth sound. Let me play you this. Uh, there we go. So the way I've created that synth sound, which is basically a super saw, is you that there isn't a preset. So you come down basically to basics here, basics basically to basics, and you go to Nico super saw. And the way a super saw works is it's a stack of saw waves that give you that kind of synthy sound. And then the more, when you first open it up, it will sound like this. It will sound like that. Which is nothing like it. And obviously the super saw is using all sorts of damn stuff. So the more you detune that, the more, more wild it sounds. And again, that's got loads of reverb on it as well. If you turn the reverb off for a second. And we actually turn the compressor off as well. And as you can hear, there's not much energy. So we add in the hall and we add in the chorus. And then we add in the compressor limiter. And what happens with the compressor limiter is we're going to pump it. And the way we pump it is we send, we've got a kick drum here. And we create a send. And there it is. If you want, you can make it a pre-send as well, so that basically it means that if the fader gets pulled down on the kick drum, it will still drive the send into this. And so we create a send, and that's basically bus, choose a bus. Depending on what Pro Tools system you've got, there'll be more or less buses here. So I've created bus 39, I've created a kick, and I've created one called hats as well. So that's now a send called kick. And then you use that here, come to bus here for the key, where you see that key there, bus. And you choose the kick as well. Now, what's going to happen is that the this is going to send out, this is going to send out, and start pumping that synth. So, if we just put this on for a second, let's just put those two both on for a second. And we push this up as well. Watch what happens.
you get that pumping sound and obviously it's pumping the compressor and you get that that's pumping a sucking sound which is so so prevalent in a lot of dance music and the more you push this up the more it pumps and once you've got that going then you use the attack and the release time to change how the pump sounds And then we turn that down a bit as well in the track. Here in the track now. And it's working on the guitar as well. also have as well and is we have some chords in the background and they're being played by uh, an, uh, a steel string guitar and uh, another super saw and again with a comp doing the same thing but this time because they're playing on the offbeat I'm using the hi-hat to send to it this time so the hi-hat here so if we put that on as well and that's pumping the compressor again And then we can get back on the compressor in here and change. So you end up with that then. And then I've got a, a bass here, and I've put a BF76 on it, and the BF76 is really, there's the original, we're really squishing down the bass as well. So basically a lot of stuff on this track is just, just compressed heavily. And then on the main as master output as well I've got Maxim as a bus compressor, and that's just pumping everything at the end of it. So here's the track with that Maxim. Of course, the more you push that down, the more compression you get. Was it original? And the drums are basically just boom, doing a kick drum. And boom, doing a hi-hat. So there we go. That's getting the 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 track uh, "Wake Me Up" uh, created in Pro Tools. Now, as I said at the start of the video, it, he's using different synths, probably even a different door to create this track. I'm sure there are other people out there that know how he did it exactly. But uh, those of you who wanted to see how you could just do it in Pro Tools with the free stuff, that's how you do it. I uh, hope that's been a bit of help. It's a bit of fun just figuring it all out. And uh, thanks for watching. And I'll see you again soon.